Welcome to the introduction video of the mod merge system and the mod launcher. In the first five minutes, we will just be looking at the mod launcher working, and I will explain things afterwards. It takes around four to five minutes for uh, the mod launcher with the current setup. Best.txt takes around 20 seconds, I think, to execute. And then we'll still have surface.txt with 96 seconds, so one and a half minute of just watching the screen, looking at what's happening. Yeah, 26. It's a little bit slower because I'm recording at the same time. So some of the CPU gets used for. Uh, OBS and for the recording and um, uh, the remaining CPU power is getting used for the mod launcher. So it's currently merging uh, Enhanced Edition 2.2, Enhanced Spells, and that takes most of the time, I think like 160 seconds out of 250 without recording. So this can take a little bit longer than 250 seconds.
here it was 100 something seconds how many seconds was that? One hundred fifteen, and it's finished. Okay, so let's talk about what just happened. So um, basically, this is the mod launcher, and you insert your um, your bundled mods folder path, which is for me this path. This is where all I keep all sacred two mods and um, where I have everything compiled, what I want, what I need. And so the way that the mod launcher works is that um, if you want to activate a mod, then you put it chronologically in that order. So let's say if you want to put in another mod, then you would have to. Do it like this, and let's do it like this, and then we would take out enhanced spells. And so the mod launcher basically checks for for it it it, it, it checks for the first number and the folder name. And then it checks for if there is a number one, and then it checks if a number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and so on. And then it will perform a mod merge um, on each of these mods. Uh, this is the mod launcher, it's just the interface. The real program uh, is in here, Sacred 2 ML. And then it basically does that. The uh, installation settings are saved here. So for instance, when we come back to the mod launcher, it remembers the settings. <laughs> okay, I'm a bit nervous. Okay, so uh, basically, basically this is this is the way that I wanted the mod launcher to work in the first place. Um, you have all your mods, you have all your things in one folder, and then you go like, okay, I want to have diverse movement speed, or I don't want to have diverse movement, movement speed, so I just remove it from, from, from the mod launcher, and now he will execute uh, everything from 1 to 11. And if you want to add a mod, then you can just add it with a number, and... Uh, yeah, you have to make sure that the numbers are chronologically correct. So, for instance, um, there's a log file here. So, as you can see, this is a log file. It uh, logs all the important information. What it did, it uh, um, uh, notes down your your uh, mods folder and it notes down your installation folder and then says if every mod has been executed successfully and as you can see um, it takes 1 to 12 and after the 12th item it, it looks for the 13th item and it goes like okay well there's no 13th item so I'm finished and then it stops so this is the reason why for instance uh, 20 Sacred 2 ESP uh, is not getting taken, uh, even though it contains something. So it looks for the 13th app and can, can't find it, says, okay, I'm finished. And yeah, so total time with recording is 300 seconds, so around 5 minutes. And that was a complete mod merge, just if you're wondering, uh, community patch, there's nothing in here. Actually, it's just a suggestion that if, like, I would like to have uh, uh, the, the the community patch in in the same format for the for for the mod merge system, so that you can execute the the that you can add uh, the community patch in the same way that you would add any other mod. It's just a suggestion; it doesn't have to be. And yeah, so um, that's the mod launcher and. Where we want to go next? So, and this here is the mod merge installer. It's basically the same, just that it only takes a single mod. Um, so, for instance, uh, 
as you can see, draft diversion movement speed is locked in, and then the destination folder is also locked in. And then you can execute the program, and you can look into the log file what actually happened. It's a mod, mod path written down, installation path, and then you have uh, everything detailed down what happened here. Uh, in this case, balance and creature info.txt got merged. And yeah, successfully merged because there was no error. So the mod launcher is uh, if you want to basically automate the automation, that is, if you have a lot of mods and you want to rebuild your system, then you can just say, okay, I want to have these mods up there all build me my my version with these mods and then it will just go down and merge every mod step by step um, yeah and if if, if, if mod offers uh, want to like uh, they're publishing a mod and um, they want to include it in the mod merge system then they just use the, the mod merge installer and then say like okay point the mod merge installer to whatever right you can just go like uh, Point the mod merge installer to this, and then you can just uh, do the same here with the challenge mod, execute it, and it's executed. So, balance txt got merged, total time 0 seconds. Um, yeah, and there are of course big mods. Um, and they would like to get, uh, they don't. They're a li little bit skeptical about the mod merge system, and so if you if you want if you want the mod to only get overwritten um, instead of instead of instead of merge, then in the in the in the folder name you can uh, specify override. And then all, all like at, at the fourth step, the whole folder is going to get copied over and overrides all necessary data if there is some. And yeah, so this also works with the single um, installer. With the single mod merge installer, you just point it towards uh, towards this folder, and it will simply override everything as long as you specify override in the in the folder name. And yeah, and so it took like five minutes to execute like the mod launcher, and but this is more like a, this is more like a, a worst case scenario because like usually the mod system is used to mod merge very small mods, and most of the time it is taken up by bigger mods which don't need to get mod merged in the first place, so they can just go like override and then you're done. And uh, let's uh, run it again. And it will take a lot uh, less time, uh, around 80 seconds, I think, for, for uh, unrecorded time, so like 100 seconds. It, it's a lot quicker if you, if you specify override, then you don't need to needlessly merge something. And yeah, so this is uh, this is basically the the mod launcher. This is this is how I wanted it to be in the first place, with uh, where you can just add your mods, you can remove your mods, and then you can rebuild your mods. Um, these two things here, they're just the interface. The Sacred 2 CPP is the real mod match program, and the Sacred 2 ML is just the framework program that basically executes the Sacred 2 CPP for every single program. Source code will be included, um, but it's not necessary. You can also delete them. They're not necessary to work. And yeah, we're finished. So how long did it take? So yeah, it took 71 seconds, 71 recorded seconds if you have specified override for the bigger mods and so if you have like something like the attendance and you go like okay yeah I really want to get this mod in so you just go like okay and then uh, you take the other thing out and go like okay well it's a big mod I just want to specify override so that uh, 
that it doesn't get merged. And then you can just specify all right and then everything will just get copied over and then you can hit uh, mod launcher compile and your version gets compiled. Yeah, so that's basically how it works. I will send this out as soon as possible. And with this video too, I hope you liked it. And I'm going to see you next time.